Hallelujah. We want to thank God again for another wonderful day from Manger to Calvary. This is the fourth, this is the third day. I beg your pardon. This is the third day from Manger to Calvary with Pastor Greg Livingstone. And I pray that today again, it bless you really good as you take your time to watch this video and listen to the word of God that we reflect on on that which Jesus has done for us I see God blessing you really good and bringing to pass that which concerned you to fulfillment and accomplishment in all ramification in Jesus name Amen Thank you Father in Jesus name our Bible reading this morning is going to be read. We're going to read it just like that because we want to look at some key aspects. What happened when Jesus Christ was given back to? What happened? The same thing that happened in the life of Jesus, which is good and wonderful. Of course, if even though the other side, the bad things happen, the challenges happen, the trouble comes, but all work it out for good to them that love God and are called according to His purpose. Because Christ has paid it all for us. He has gone through it so that we also will go through it sweatlessly by His grace. And I see you accomplishing a life in Jesus' name. In the book of Luke chapter 2 and verses 10, the Bible says, but the angel said to them, Do not be afraid. I bring you good tidings that will cause great joy for all people. Today, in the town of David, a Savior has been born to you. He is the Messiah, the Lord. When Jesus was born, His birth was announced by angels. God is asking me to tell you that He's going to announce you for good, for real. Remember, Jesus' birth was announced by angels, not ordinary men, spiritual beings. I want to tell you, the day you were born, heaven confirmed it. It was announced, and by His grace, your victory over life situation will be announced in Jesus name. Another thing we look at here in verse 13, suddenly a great company of angel host appear with the angel praising God and saying glory to God in the highest, glory to God in the highest heaven and on earth peace to peace to those on whom his favor rest there was a rejoicing on the day of his birth men will rejoice over you in jesus name no matter the challenges you have been going through i see men rejoicing over you Angels rejoice over Jesus' birth. God will cause men to rejoice over your arrival and your fulfillment in Jesus' name. Not only that place did they rejoice over the birth of Jesus Christ. Not only that angels do rejoice over it. Also, the shepherd praised God that Jesus was born. You will not be a thorn to this flesh, to this generation. You will not be a, a, a problem to this generation. Rather, you will be a blessing. Men will rejoice over you. Men will celebrate you because you have come to fulfill God's purpose and destiny for your life. Look at it. In verse 20, I think, yes. The shepherd returned, glorifying and praising God for all the things that had, all the things they had, had and seen, which were just as they had been told. 
they rejoice because prophecy was fulfilled in the life of Jesus. Men will rejoice because prophecy, what has been written that concerns you for good, there shall be fulfillment in Jesus' name. There shall be fulfillment. They rejoice. This shepherd rejoice. Angels rejoice. Angels announce the birth of our Lord Jesus Christ. God is going to announce you. Heaven will rejoice over your success and blessings and impact in your generation. Men will celebrate you in the name of Jesus. In this Lenten period, what happens in the life of Jesus will start to happen in your life in the name of Jesus Christ. <clears throat> Finally, let us look at verse 16 to 18. So they hurried off and found Mary and Joseph and the baby who was lying in the manger. When they had seen him, they spread the word consigning what has been told. They spread the word. They proclaim it. They profess it. What has been told? what has been told. They spread the word concerning what has been told about this child. And all that had it were marvel at what the shepherd said to them. They spread the word. And all that had it were marvel. My brother, my sister, your success will embarrass your enemies. What God will start to do in your life from this time henceforth, men will not be able to comprehend it. People will spread your news. The same people that spread the news of your down, they will spread the news of your rising forever and you will rise. The same people that know you to be down, the same people will spread the news of your going up, of your fulfillment. Of your compliment. They spread the news abroad, and everyone that had it marveled. And when people hear about you, they will shout, Wow, this is the doings of the Lord. That is my prayer for you today. That is my prayer for you in this lengthy period. God will announce you. People will rejoice over you and celebrate you, and your news will go abroad in the name of Jesus Christ. And not only that, eternity with God shall be a reality in your life. In Jesus' name, God bless you. This is from Manger to Calvary with Pastor Greg Livingstone. You are blessed. Go and prosper in Jesus' name. Amen.